Before we get started actually making our project, uh, we need to learn a little bit more about the artists for whom the project is based off of. Uh, we're going to be viewing the artwork of Alma Woodsy Thomas. She was an American artist who was born in 1891 and passed away in 1978. Thomas was born in Columbus, Georgia, the oldest of four girls. In 1907, her family moved to Washington, D.C., seeking relief from racial violence in the South. You can also see right away that her abstract pieces very much resemble uh, a classic mosaic style. As a girl, Thomas dreamed of being an architect and building bridges, but there were few women uh, architects a century ago. Instead, she attended Howard University, becoming its first fine arts graduate in 1924. You can also see she used very colorful paint. Thomas's early art was realistic, though her Howard professor James V. Herring and peer Louise May Lou Jones challenged her to experiment with abstraction. When she retired from teaching and was able to concentrate on art full-time, Thomas finally developed her signature style. She debuted her abstract work in an exhibition at Howard, 1966, at the age of 75. Thomas's abstractions had been compared with Byzantine mosaics, the pointillist technique of George Surratt, and the paintings of the Washington Color School. Yet her work is quite distinctive. Thomas became an important role model for women, African Americans, and older artists. She was the first African American woman to have a solo exhibition at New York's Whitney Museum of American Art, and she exhibited her paintings at the White House three times. Now, taking a closer look at her artwork, we can see how that much of it is in concentric circles. A lot of the time there is the same color used throughout one line. She even repeats the colors at some point. Um, but essentially they have space in between, just like a mosaic style. Now um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be starting our project very soon. Uh, we're going to learn about two different ways that we can make artwork like uh, Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma Woodsy inspired torn paper collage. For this project you're going to need a 9 by 12 piece of darker color construction paper. I use blue. A 3 by 3 piece of yellow construction paper, although you could use pink or red. 5 to 10 strips of 1 by 12 color construction paper. Lots of bright colors. A glue stick. Images of Alma Woodsy Thomas's artwork and some scissors. Now, I have actually gone ahead and done the first step of this project and haven't showed it in the video. And what I did was is that I took a glass and I traced it on a yellow piece of paper. I cut it out and I glued it in the center of my larger blue paper. Now, first, let's talk about Alma Woodsy's artwork. It's what's considered abstract art. I've always defined abstract art as art that's from the imagination, made of lines, shapes, colors, and it usually expresses how the artist feels. Now to make our collage, we're going to use the color strips of paper and tear them with our fingers into small rectangular and square shapes. The whole point of this project is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Although when looking at Alma Woodsy's artwork, we could see there's some definite precision. Um, we're not heading for that. We're just doing artwork that's inspired by her. Now, we know that a collage is art made by using different types of paper, photos, or fabric and arranging them all together on a backing. And that's what we're doing. Um, our different materials are these color strips and our backing is the dark blue piece of paper. And we're using a glue stick to stick those pieces of paper around. Now, you can notice that I'm arranging them both horizontally and vertically. It really is up to you how you want to do it. Um, you can also notice that I made each row all one color, although I made them different colors from each other. I started with green, then purple, then orange. Now, a mosaic, which is the type of style that Woodsy's artwork has been compared to, is a picture or pattern 
made by arranging small color hard materials such as glass, tile, um, or rocks. Now, Alma Woodsy made this style by painting. We're doing it by collage. There's lots of different ways to be inspired by different artists and to use different materials. Now, again, you can see that I am arranging with one color in each row. You can use multiple colors in each row if you really want to, but if we're going to be truly inspired by what Alma Woodsy did, she pretty much keeps it the same color throughout. You can also see that my tearing is getting a little bit more loose as I get closer and closer to the edge, trying to fill up the space. And I'm going right over the edge when I'm gluing it, which I think is perfectly fine because the last step of this project, we're going to tidy it all up by using some scissors. Really, the scissors are like the last thing that we need because um, we don't necessarily want this to be precise. So I'm making sure to fill up all of the space as much as I possibly can going over the edge and filling it in. And what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to flip my artwork over and I'm going to use the scissors and cut against the nice straight line of the paper. And that is pretty much all I need for my collage. And we can see it's very much inspired by Alma Woods. Another way to make artwork like Alma Woodsy Thomas is by using any dry media art tool you have, white paper, and drawing the shapes that she used. Now for my particular project I decided to use oil pastels just because it would go pretty quickly. I drew a uh, yellow circle in the center of my paper and I alternated between uh, larger and smaller squares and rectangles. You're going to see that I, um, you know, I start to get a little bit wonky about my circle uh, because, again, I'm not trying to achieve perfection necessarily, um, but I do turn my paper around quite a bit so that I can make sure that I, you know, even that circle out a little bit. And you can see that I'm starting to hit the edge of my paper and I try to continue to the edge as much as I possibly can, but eventually part of that edge is going to get cropped out. Um, and that's perfectly fine. You just work as far as you can go to the edge and then you continue as much as you can. And that is another way to make artwork inspired by Alma Woodsy. And in the spaces that I have in between, I go back and add some simple uh, circles and squares and there you have it. Uh, artwork inspired by Alma Woodsy Thomas, one of the best and most talented American artists of our time.